Mitigating factor. I don't feel a lot of hope in my heart. I don't honest. either. Oh, man. Okay, wait, wait, you gotta grab. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. We gotta grab? But he lost punch because he had to up B. Damn it. This character sucks, dude. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's so fine. He's he in such a fine punch. spot. He should lose punch. If you get hit out of your up B, that means you lost something. No! Punch. Okay, so we are going Falcon. Okay, I was about to ask, like, what would motivate Mateo to go Fox over Falcon, but... That okay. was a very, very gutsy rest. And the DI might not have been possible there. I will give Chisang credit. But that, that might also have been I don't, DI. Yeah, I don't know. That, that might not have been good. But Mateo with a good start overall. You, you do love to see that if you're Mateo. Okay, yeah, and this is great, right? The macro of just like like what Wizard did to really make his money is just hang out on platforms now. Yeah, make Puff do what Puff is bad at, which is approach vertically. Puff's jumps are fast along the ground, but not so fast up down. Good jump from Mateo. The contorting of the body kind of gets around Two Saints forward air right there. Whoa, just totally whiffs. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Totally wrong height jump. So the back and forth right there, right side and left side, that uh, concerns me a little bit is Mateo's yeah. holding in a ton oh, that's on all these aerials. Yeah. Puffs will snipe that out just while paying you off the stage. Monster drop me, that shield drop me up the top platform. With all sorts of drift, you have to worry about it. I feel like Tusain actually is going for RTC rest type setups. Tusain, I think, classified uh, by a lot of people as the aggressive puff of the bunch or one of the aggressive puffs of the bunch, likes to do a little bit of unorthodox stuff. So I think like when it matters, we'll not yes. hesitate to wall up, which I think is good. I was talking to Klee a little bit about that. Yeah. But it's like, I think the next step is I just need to step off the gas at some mm -hmm. of the game, because it's just not going to work out for me. Pressing W the whole time. Yeah, I think I would say like one of Two Saints things, which we haven't seen quite yet in this set, but it was a big thing over at like Genesis uh, 9 when Two Saint made top eight. Right. Was a lot of F smash to just call out like drift back or wave dash back oh, or like yeah. out of shield options. Yeah. Really solid, but like when it misses, it misses. There are a lot of big gambles that Puff can take. Dash attacks are yeah, a big one. Yeah, there it is. One. Okay, finally. Hound's a big one. F smash, another big one. They all have various timings and spacings on the lunges. All that being said, I mean, Two Saints slowly clawed their way back into this one. Tail looking pretty strong. Happy to have Puff above. Hits the Falling Nair, trying to find the kill. Yeah, and this is great. Like I said before, I mean, this is really what made Wizrobe a lot of money in terms of, uh, yeah, like, the Optic platform. Arena yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, Hang yeah. out on top platform as soon as Puff comes on. What if I just stomp you? Yeah, stomp the platforms and just throw out back air for defense. And, you know, just take your time. No reason you have to go in with monster knee at all times. Okay. It's back here. Good Next one does eye. it. Stage it's positioning wasn't amazing for that bear anyway, so. And even two things just saying, like, okay, I'm gonna hang out down here. Oh no, didn't press a button on that one, but. Calls the reading. Calls the roll in. And I, yeah, again, I, I want to point out Mateo's patience in this, right? Because it's really hard to maintain a game plan like that, too. Especially if Two Saint finds a crack in the armor, things get weird quick. And I want to see how uh, Mateo specifically adapts to that. All right. Well, right now, with the stock lead, high percent, but that's fine. Oh, Beautiful that stomp there. on the all the way back of Jigglypuff Shield is is the stuff of legends, man. Not much the Puff's going to be able to do. Yeah, everything the Falcon could want. Okay, what's the recovery right here? Goes well, super goes low. Goes really low, gets a great tech. Oh, I think Tusain was also expecting the edge cancel yeah. off of that up B, so it got a little dicey for a second. Running out of jumps there for a bit, so it couldn't really continue anything. And this is great extra credit for Mateo, even if he falls right here, which it looks like he might. Yep. 47, that's huge. That's big. You get a grab, that's monster stuff. All right, now Tusain hanging out of the platforms. Not a lot of jumps left. We'll get them back. And this is really the biggest question, right? Like, does Mateo overextend for a KO? And Chusain is so good at making these comebacks, just yeah. having presence of mind to find the one the one gamble to go with. Okay, waiting. All right, Mateo throwing knee, throwing over shoot knee. I really like these uh these fast fall from nares too. Like it just covers oh, so yeah. much horizontal space. And if you're fast you can convert off the field. Yeah. But Mateo's half his zone with them. Showing that he doesn't really care if he finds the KO with back air at like 130, sure. Great DI top. is fine to get there. Another well DI back here from Two Saint. Seen that a couple times. All right, back to the top. PC 
see the, the shield drop nares with the full fade back. Oh, it's so scary. Yeah, it's just... Oh, there's oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And, like, jabbing two more times could have been the only overextension Mateo had to go for right there. Basically, because if you get that gentleman ducked, that could be curtains. If the pub is just... Has two sane. Okay, oh, Mistech big, is big huge! Attack. Oh. Okay. Oh. I don't think Two Saint was ready to RTC off of the Mist Tech, but... Well, there was that, but then also the Wall of Pain didn't come together covering yeah. Mateo's DI. Last looking hit from a lot of them. Double... Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. Oh, and we got back airs. Again, single hit decides it all. I am scared. Oh, no! Okay, finds ledge. Big up air, not enough to do it. The that next one, possibly. Wow. Oh, Lord. Okay, big edge guard attempt from two what? Saint. <laughs> Hello. What? <laughs> okay. I help, it's me, Chroma. Hey there. Oh, no, <laughs> okay, sure. all right. Okay. Uh, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? All right, uh, coming in the middle of the set. Uh, I know this would be uh, this is an interesting matchup because you know Mateo kind of like the U school grinder, uh, two Saint taking several breaks, but still showing that they love melee, um, and, and coming back here, team, are they both team dog? I'm still uh, a little bit shook up that you're just here. Hey, it's me. <laughs> the middle of this. Oh, oh no! What is this? Okay. <laughs> Um, yes. Also, kind of a hard matchup to show Rustin. I think this is one of Puff's hardest matchups. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think what I was saying uh, in game one while Chroma was here, mm -hmm. the real one, was that uh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Chroma. Mateo on. did play the defense on the Battlefield game like incredibly well, right? It was like stock lead, and then I'm just yeah. going to hang out on top platform, and I'm going to be as patient as can be. That's this is point. probably stock trade, yeah, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, I think something that's super interesting in this matchup is like Falcon Drift is so amazing. Shout outs to Walt's uh, Optic Arena analysis, hey, we where did he it. talks about like how Wizzy uses all of Falcon's attributes yeah. to, to defeat the, the Puffball. Oh! I think the other thing too that I had pointed out in game one was Mateo was using double jump really well too to contort the Falcon's hurt yeah. box away from two Saints. Uh, forward air approaches and things like that. Oh, uh, that was a really great. dirty rest. Yeah. You're not going to find a huge punish, maybe a stomp, but just goes for straight grab. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, great call out on the full hop. If there's one thing that Falcons love to do in that scrap, it's full hop because they don't, they can't really grab puff. That was good. Yeah. Uh, they can't really grab puff. So it's like the puff can try to read it with uh, short hop up air. Uh oh. Okay, not yeah. DIing at all for this, but you still but find a stock trade again. Trade. This game's weird. Yeah. Why did you come here and make it weird? I <laughs> know. What, what have you done? I, I, I just gave everybody the crazy juice. Did you Did you win? Uh, I did. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was about I, to say, you, this is because you didn't win. But, no, no. But now you won, so I, hey, congrats. I, 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 got, I got a lot of energy. Nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to call out the drift. Um, I mean, now Tuesday can go for just the raw rest. No danger of trading. That could have been neat. Um, yeah. And the last stock thing, like, I've only seen Mateo really unlock this as, like, a last stock approach option is, like, double jump in place and then do landing nair yeah. to just cover, like, a lot of horizontal space while being able to fast fall or, like, bury your timing there. Yeah, they went double jump to plat. Oh, oh, the tech! Okay. That could have been huge, I but know. I think, yeah, in the magnifying class, you can't pounce. So you gotta. Yeah. Ooh, it's and pretty weird. It also kind of looked like Tuesday took their hands off the controller yeah, for a yeah. second. So maybe it could have survived. Um, we need our, our data specialist here over right. at uh, Collision Series Stats. He test. Tell us what could have happened. Tell us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but game three, I think this is good for Tuesday. Um, actually, you know, going Tuesday style, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, went opted for like a smaller stage in this matchup, too. Because Yeah, yeah. They're one of the more scrappy puffs. Yeah, and I also think you you got to think about it in the context of the matchup, right? Ooh. Wow, incredible stuff too. Yeah, yeah. But like Mateo has shown in these first two games that he's so willing to play the slow game. Oh yeah. Double jumps, drift mix-ups. Okay. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do as Falcon in this matchup. You double jump, and then like you either pull back yeah. or forward, depending on where the puff is. <laughs> it's like crazy mix. Uh-oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> that might be partially from the way that Mateo has been crossing up shield on game one, too. It might have just been a preemptive, I'm going to try to, like, power shield up smash or something like that. Right. But. Oh, no. Bad sign for the Falcon if the... <laughs> 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 the me AF, dude. 
great drift there. Wow, Mateo is just playing this really clean, even from behind. Okay. Okay, so it's easy peasy. Yeah. How do you play around invincibility? All right, going to ledge. Smart. And, and, and super safe. Oh, tried to go for the double F smash. Triple? This is this was something I had mentioned to Chroma in game one. Was I feel like that is the two saint trademark, right? Yeah. Is the is the puff F smash, especially to call out like rolls or defense or yeah. like offensive options there. It, it's funny how like the the aggro puff arc archetype you see <laughs> yeah. so many wave dashes in and just yes. raw F smash. It's like <laughs> they all love that. <laughs> oh, okay. Edge guard attack. Back, okay. Mm. That was tricky in game one as well. Mateus. I think both players expecting edge, edge cancel, but right. I think Mateo's just scouting out two saints as um, just like a desire to get the kill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, desire to try to close out those stocks, and that's why we're seeing so many um, shields on the F smash. Oh, uh, imagine! Uh, Would have been wild. That's I think no. I don't think no. I don't think he's DIing this correctly, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? That was, yeah, that was I think improper DI. Um, yeah, at 40 on the other side of Dreamland, I feel because, like... Because, yeah, stock one, two Saint Mist, uh, of game one, two Saint Mr. Rust as well, and died to F-Smash at, like, 40 or okay. something like yeah, that, yeah, or, yeah, like, 30-something. Yeah. I, I think it's, like, up? Like, supposed to hold Yeah. Down. I'd be curious. I'm going on I Need Data after this one. Okay. Rest attempt. Oh, nice slide off by Mateo, though. Uh-oh. Catch the grab. Mateo People are popping ledge. off. Is <laughs> this for side stream? I don't know. Doesn't matter. We were watching your game during it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, then, so you knew. No, no, I saw it was game five. And, okay, okay. and then we locked in on this one. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Makes yeah sense. you guys Makes sense. saw that, right? So, yeah. <laughs> this is what they pay us the big bucks for. This is what we get paid the so, big bucks uh, yeah? for. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. That's the one. Uh huh, that's. That'll yep. do it. Uh huh. Good jump. Good back here. Good, good, good game. Good, good game. gaming. Good gaming. But also, the, <laughs> the, oh God, the, it's, the, it's the top flat stuff, man. It is. The, yeah. the double jumps, like Mateo mixing up if he comes down after the double jump, if he goes to the top flat. And then once Mateo gets to the top flat, there's so many drift mix ups. He can yes. shield drop. And yeah, jump. and like you can even boil, like for this matchup, you can boil it down to really, really basic stuff of diluting it to. And this is what I talked about the keys of the game and in Wizzy versus Hbox for Optic Arena. Just like, is the puff below you? Stop. Yes. Is the puff above you? Up air. And we're done. We did it. Yep, That's it. Yep. Space your aerials. It's, it's a 64S matchup. Yeah. Everybody just spacing their good aerials. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We can bear. Not going to do it. But again, I mean, Mateo's so willing to be like, That's fine. I'll get you eventually. Yeah, very willing to control space here. But two Saints slowing it down, knowing they're down. Okay. Oh, that's big. No, so slow though. Yeah. Character too slow. Buff puff in a meaningful way. All right. Oh. I don't know, man. I think I'm spitting with that seventh jump buff. Give Puff a seventh jump. Why not? Seventh jump, bigger rest. <laughs> bigger rest. I think the rest, the rest should, better. <laughs> should be like the size of a, of a platform. <laughs> <laughs> like horizontally. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it would hit right now. And also, it expands the longer that it's oh, out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're cooking too hard, dude. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Now, Two is so good at using uh, ground and like Ooh. like forward roll specifically is amazing on puff just because yeah. it's faster than the rest of the cast. But like two is one oh, of I the puffs that. that's so good. It's frame two instead of frame four for a wow. lot of the cast. But it's so Two Saint is just so good at playing ground game. But I feel like Mateo has such a strong read on it, which kind of like invalidates it in a way. Right. Saint trying to read a, a jump there, but slightly off on the timing. Uh oh. Could it be? Yeah. Good. Good of Mateo, knowing that like even if he drifts back on that aerial, he's not gonna get punished. Um, so it's a good option. For, like oh, missing. Yeah, this but the turnaround was huge. Okay, the correctly read it. Yeah. That's the two saint. The, we're doing the point at the screen because because oh. two saints gonna oh. win this game. Two saint won the two game. Did it. He two did the thing. <laughs> oh my god. So two saint very good at wave dash through F smash. Yes. Uh, it's a hard read on the cross up there too to go for that. Honestly, in this matchup, I don't think the counter picks are super strong yeah. for Falcon. I think we're going stadium because of the early uh, Q 
kill confirms, or, or knockout confirms. <laughs> shut <laughs> As up. We should probably get used hey, to Hey, shout out to Toast. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, going to be an earlier kill with, with knee, perhaps. Um, Sparky did say I had to call it a side air at least once. Yeah. Which sounds like oh, wow. that, like side good air, side, side air, air combo. Side air combo. What a conversion. Yeah, it just puts just feels gross to yeah, do that here. I know. Just doesn't feel right. Because the characters don't turn around here. <laughs> it's like, oh. Oh, oh try to up tilt. Okay, okay, two's got a really solid read now on uh nice. on Mateo's ledge options. And I, like you said about two saints ground game being so strong. I feel like when he has Mateo in the corner, that's where they could get um, a lot of mileage. The crowd's going crazy. Let's go Chunky. Oh, no. Wow, Toussaint is just oh mixing the, Mateo. The, the rush. Yeah. Puff rush down. You love to see it. And I feel like, like especially because you get Hungrybox before this, right? You get scared seeing knockdown because you're like, oh, no, Hbox is going to rest. And now I'm scared. But now I'm like, oh, no, Toussaint's going to forward smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fun to see all the play styles. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen Puff in this transformation in years. In eons. <laughs> e eons. Something they wrote so. it in scripture. <laughs> Honestly, Puff, not bad at playing the transformations because yeah. she can just wait it out. <laughs> Two's not going to do oh, that, though. Oh, my God. Go in into the pit. Go in. Back in. Back in. This is what I was saying here. before. Mateo has been holding in on a lot of these wall of pains as yeah. well, which is kind of costing him a lot. This is a huge lead yeah. for two. What a turnaround. The smash DI out there can save Falcon from another back air, but then you get edge guarded by Puff. It's it's truly a pick your poison. Well, if Mateo stalls for six minutes, maybe we're hitting ledge grab. Limit. Okay. Thanks to the rock ledge grabs. <laughs> I don't think we're even close, oh, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, there's a stop. Low percent. I assume Mateo goes back to ledge just based on how he's positioning. Okay, I think this is going it. game five. Oh. I, I respect it. Mm. Trying to get like the crispiest wave land there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that. So something I'm noticing is Mateo. Oh my god. Too sane. Oh. What a comeback right here. We're in game five. Mateo really liked the top plan. I was about to say that. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of intrigued why not Yoshi's in that case. Yeah. Right? And I feel like we're going to switch to there. I think it, what, Battlefield was game one. Battlefield which I totally was game saw. one, yes, which you totally saw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, I mean, we could go we could go Yoshi's, lower top flat. If you go FOD. Or even FOD, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't even think it's that bad in this case because Mateo was playing the air to air really well. But yeah, now that Toussaint can kind of just rush Mateo down without that top flat, it's looking like right. all Toussaint. Right. Yeah, and I think that was the big difference maker in game four, right? Is is Mateo didn't have a lot of time to slow things down. We're gonna see a run back here to, to stadium. So I really hope Mateo can bring the pace back a little bit because it felt like once Toussaint had the chance to speed up, it was just over. Oh my god. It's, it's over. Rest. That's the stock, what? yeah. What? Look at the rush down here. Oh my god. All right. No hold down either. Okay. Oh. So that punish did not get extended as far as it could go. Okay. This could be, oh, very close. Very yeah, spacing close. was a little bit weird um, there. But this is an interesting phenomenon that players often encounter. This is like the by the book counter yes. pick. Yeah. But people need to pick stylistically what their counter pick is. Yeah, because uh, I mean, like, look at the back and forth right here. We saw Mateo hang out on the right platform for a moment, like just looking for a way in. But I think without that verticality, it's really starting to oh struggle here. This is another no DI, so. Yeah. I need to see more double jump mix-ups. Okay, the plat can come into play here. Right. Maybe doing some plat mix-ups. Wait for transformation, perhaps. We're going to get it in a few seconds. Airing through. And Mateo's not used to these cross-up aerials. Yeah. I mean, some of them are unsafe, but it's so hard to tell because Toussaint's mix is so good. I think it's also like of every puff you probably play in, in your region, you're like, well, I don't think the puff's going to wait on the ground and hit me yeah. for when I land. <laughs> I don't th think the puff is going to do multiple yeah. aerials through my shield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, up to the Yep. Nice. You say on the verge of a reverse 3 0. Pretty big for them. You did this by coming into yeah. this set. Shout out to Tuesday. <laughs> I love A former you, Junebug student. Uh, yeah? You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, you taught you talk to that. Taught you taught to that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely taught him that. Um, so for that one, you want to. <laughs> 
For those of you at home that don't know, Jigglypuff has a move called Rest. <laughs> oh. This is good. I'm glad we're doing this. Yes. Oh, tried to read a spot dodge there. Toussaint, very comfortable, just wave dashing away. Uh, actually missing the wave dashes and right. air dodging away. No rush down from Mateo, but maybe they can come back here. We saw this before. Two stocks to one. Mateo was at zero in game four. Playing good nuge. Oh, I like the double jumps coming back. This is how they would be able to clean it yeah. up. Oh. Caught one jump, but plenty more to go. Nice paid okay. out. And, and this is what made Mateo all his money in those first two games, right? You wait for Toussaint to press a button, and then you're like, I got you. Right. And you're just going to take a right. ton of damage for it. Usually you die, too. Oh! Last stock? Oh, my no, God. Almost. One back here, one knee, perhaps. Oh. And okay. Toussaint's playing for the... Oh, 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 missed tech! Okay. Transformation does get in the mix right here, so a little bit of space is afforded. Yeah. And all of a sudden, all that momentum is gone. Sapped by the fire transformation. The greenery on this world was taken away. Oh, no. The harsh embers of Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. Okay, good tech. Yeah, I, I saw the vision. I knew the knee was coming, but it was weak hit. Bear brings it to last stock. Okay. Mateo has a shot. But this is definitely two Saints' favor. A lot of things will knock down here. Falcon has to get win neutral like four or five times. Let's see. One correct read could be all it takes. Transformation comes through. Watch the platforms now. Oh. The oh. platform. Yeah, see, look. Ah, there it is. Oh my god. Do you say playing so safe? So is Mateo though, man. Oh my Look god. at this. Wait, pump this beer? Kill oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh knee, god, down throw wait. knee is down very knee. close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait. <gasps> okay. okay, okay. Shield drop comes through. Huge. You gotta recover Can't by the ledge. Toussaint does not get to ledge in time. Will Mateo make the comeback? Try to go for short up knee out of shield. Dude, two's pressing so many buttons so on many landing. Buttons. Mateo's not going for any counter hit though. What is that? There's They're so much respect! Okay, double jumps coming out from Mateo. All right, what's the landing option from Toussaint? Almost out of jumps. What? Wait, what are you doing? What? <laughs> okay. Any aerial could kill from either party oh, here. Lord. Oh, no. Okay, second hit and out. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Mateo, Mateo with the clutch. Oh, my God. Of four games in a row of playing as patient as can be, and Mateo says, you know what? What if I just knee? What if I just what knee? What if I just hit you really hard? That That is a, a cooler right there. That is a cool. Two Saint in the midst of a reverse 3-0, up two stocks to one on the final game, but Mateo just clutching it out. Oh, my gosh. And I was about to say, I mean, if Two Saint converted that reverse 3-0, right? Uh -huh. Like, I really think a lot of it came down to that the stadium pick for game yeah, four and five. Yeah, and, and then missing this... Pretty crucial edge right. guard in game one. Uh, and then Mateo pops off. You'll love um, to see it. Yeah, so much. I, I think the real difference maker in that game five, Mateo just started playing so safe. That was an insane conversion from Two Saint, though. I mean, Two played this really well. Yeah. And I think, like, the, the pivot from games three to four, where Two Saint was like, you know what? I'm going to play super aggro now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You don't know what you're going to do about it. But, I mean, nerves come into play, and, like, Two Saint definitely slowed it down game five, which yeah. makes sense. But the rushdown was what was making them their money. Oh, yeah. Hey, congrats to Mateo. That was a yeah. barn burner of a set. An Holy amazing moly. set that I was definitely here the For whole all of it. time. You, I, I'm so glad you were here to watch all of them. Yeah, that I, I loved the game one interactions, all of them. All the interactions. They were good. One. Mateo uh, won. It. Yeah. I love when one. Puff back aired and Falcon double jumped. <laughs> It was, oh. it was really interesting stuff. Oh, I mean, that should have... Wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait the wait, game already yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. The game happened. We're done no, here. No, no, no. I thought that was game five. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and then three stocks to yeah. one. A three stock to one comeback. Crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think a big thing that I really appreciated about this, too, because... I, was, I had a little bit of criticism for the stadium pick, but it did end up working out in the end for Mateo. I think the way that Mateo was changing modes, too, was really, really good, right? I mean, Toussaint did kind of run him over in game four, for sure, but, like, Mateo did turn it on and was like, I'm not going to play super-duper passive and wait for you to act first. I'm going right. to actually take initiative on some of this. Yeah, and showing that they could still play that, like, really strong Falcon neutral without yeah. the top flat, without the use of double